Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. I am Ali. Today we will be talking about EOS architecture and EOS accounts. EOS architecture overview. EOS blockchain is a decentralized operating system which can support decentralized applications. EOS IO comes with a number of programs. The primary ones that you will use are Node OS, Kleos, Kiosk. So what are these? Node OS is a short form of Node EOS, the core EOS IO node that can be configured with plugins to run a node. Example uses our block production, API endpoints, and local development. Kleos stands for command line interface of EOS. Command line interface to interact with a blockchain and to manage wallets. Kiosk is a key storage of EOS. This component securely stores EOS IO keys in wallets. Understanding all this will give you an overview of how you will build the EOS IO components and develop them in a single host. Other important aspects are accounts and permissions. An account is a human readable identifier that is stored on a blockchain. An account is required to transfer a transaction to the blockchain. Transactions are signed by utilizing a client that has a loaded and unlocked wallet. A wallet is a software that protects and makes use of your keys. The EOS IO repository comes with a command line interface this client called Kleos that interfaces with a light client called Kiosk and together they demonstrate the pattern. Every account has two levels of permissions. Owner authority symbolizes ownership of an account. Generally it is suggested that the owner is kept in cold storage and not shared with anyone. Active authority is used for transferring funds, voting for producers and making other high-level account changes. Every permission's name has a parent. Parents possess the authority to change any of the permission's settings for any of all their children's. Permissions of any given authority can be assigned to one or multiple public keys or a valid account name. Cleos is a command line tool. In order to use Cleos, you will need to have the endpoint, IP address, and port number to a Nodos instance and also configure Cleos to load up the EOS IO chain plugin. This was all for today. Thank you for listening. See you next time.